So one of the things that we like to do is to have round tables that are going to meet uh, periodically. We're looking at maybe quarterly, and these round tables are going to be looking at one critical question, and that critical question is, what is the impact of manure on soil health? Now within those, we know there's going to be several different topics. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but that's going to be the critical question that we want it to deal with is manure's impact on soil health. Also, the tar target audience that we're looking at right now are our colleagues in Extension and other land-grant universities, uh, NRCS, agribusiness, regulators, both state and federal, and maybe even some conservation districts or soil and water conservation districts. Some of the topics may be beneficial uh, for growers, so those we would open up to the larger area, um, to larger the group, um, but some of them will be an internal within the agribusiness um, and the, the universities. Okay. Okay, Lisa, um, I'm having problems, Leslie, moving it, so can you move it to the next slide? All right. So what we're going to do with these roundtables is we're going to have um, the roundtables are going to be set up in a Zoom meeting such as this so that we can meet throughout the throughout the Midwest or North Central region so that we can have different views from different areas. We're going to select two to five experts and they're going to provide short reviews on the critical issues that we're going to talk about that day, how the critical information needs of farmers can be met, and we're going to look at underutilized relevant resources. We know there's a lot of resources out there currently, but we may not know of them, so if we can discuss how we can all join in and use those so that uh, the information can get out to our end users, which are usually producers. And then we also want to remember those inf um, end products or ma for makers or influencers um, as they relate to manure and soil health. And that will be predominantly geared to policymakers. Um, manure and soil health really is, as you look over the, the Midwest, each state is a little bit different on how they handle those. So how can we influence um, in a, a judicious and correct manner those policies that that legislatures are putting on farmers. Okay, you can move to the next slide. So we have a Matt in Wisconsin and we came up with some possible topic areas. These topic areas are not inclusive. Uh, we can change them and we're more than willing to change them if the need arises from this or group or if other groups have topic ideas. Uh, the possible topics that we have looked at are cover crops. Again, remember the critical question that these topics are going to answer is the impact of manure on soil health. So cover crops are one area that we can look at as well as composting. And then we also were discussing all of the different soil health tests out there and do they show good relationships to manure and soil health and how can they be used uh, for growers? Um, the impact of injection or incorporation of manure on soil health on the biological activity as well as the insect population. And then uh, also, what about solid um, injection systems? Can they be, are they useful? Should they be something that we are promoting more? And at this time, I think we have a poll question um, that we have. If you could answer this for us, we would greatly appreciate it. Appreciate it. Okay, and we can move to the next slide, Leslie. Ah, there's the poll question. Okay, again, the round table the roundtable is chaired by myself um, from MSU and Todd Whitney, who we just heard from um, Nebraska. So if you have any questions or you have any ideas, um, please fill in that, um, in that, email us or fill it in the chat box. And I saw a chat just came up, and NRCS is part of our group, so they are um, also giving us information and input, and we're working with them on this.